entering into the room of the patient, decontaminating my hands using seven steps of hand hygiene, making sure the environment is clean, there's no obstructions, curtains are closed for privacy. Because of the COVID, we are taking precautions, so I will be putting my mask. Wearing apron. Wearing clean gloves one at a time. Approaching the patient. Hello. Hi. My name is Sugandha and I'm the mental health nurse here. Okay, and today I will be taking care of you and uh, I will be doing your physical observation wherein I will be checking your blood pressure, pulse, oxygen saturation and about some, some questions about your alertness. Okay? okay, but before starting anything I would like to confirm some details with you. Okay. Can you please tell me your full name? Julie Smith. Can I please touch your ID band? Yes. Thank you. How would you like me to address you? Julie is fine. Okay, Julie, can, what is your date of birth? 23-12-1995. Okay, and your address? 1 Hill Street, Plana, NP 12 3AB. Perfect. Julie, do you remember your address number? No, it's too long. No problem, I'll just cross check for you. Okay, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Perfect. So, Julie, Mm -hmm. Before starting this procedure, I would like to ask you whether you are free for 15 minutes because this can take 15 minutes if you want to use washroom or toilet. No, I'm fine. Are you okay to do it right now? Yes. Julie, do you have any allergies? No. Any allergies to plaster or latex? No. Okay. And uh, do you know why are you admitted? Um, the doctor wants to check my blood pressure, I think. Okay. Um, it's been going up and down. I see. Don't worry. We, I'll be checking your blood pressure in this procedure. Okay. okay? Yes. And are you comfortable to do this in, in this position? Yes. Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, Julie, do, have you done any physical exercise or smoking in last 30 minutes? No. I've just been sitting in the waiting room. Perfect. Perfect. Because since this can affect the reading, so that's that question was necessary. Okay. okay. And uh, Julie, do you have any health issues which can affect the reading? For example, any heart issues or respiratory issues? No, just my blood pressure. The doctor is not sure what's happening. Perfect. I see. So I'll just uh, gather my equipments and I'll be back. Okay. 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 For this procedure, we would uh, require a thermometer and. Uh, so just checking if whether it's switch off, there is enough battery, it is calibrated, the lenses are clean. Checking for ear probes. So there are enough ear probes for each ear. This equipment is good to use. Now next moving to my BP apparatus. So it is intact, it was calibrated in 2021, switching it on, with work. just checking whether it works, there is enough battery, there is no leakage, checking for the cuff size, it is for the, it is right size for my patient. Now the pulse oximeter, it's working, there is red light inside, 
there is enough battery can be used one clock to check the pulse and respirations all the equipments have been cleaned and ready to use I also require a pillow to keep it beneath the arm of the patient so now as my equipments are ready I'll be moving to the patient side hi Julie I'm back again okay so first I will be starting with your uh, pulse uh, checking mm -hmm. sorry checking your blood pressure mm -hmm. but I would request you can you please uh, straighten your feet for this procedure okay. and I request you please not to talk or eat during this process okay yes uh, I would like to uh, check it on your left arm mm -hmm. do you have any surgeries or cannula in this arm mm -hmm. perfect can you please yes, lift your arm mm -hmm. making sure it's on the heart level your uh, clothing for you yes thank you so much sorry it has to be You might feel some tightness in this arm, but that's normal, okay? Yeah. Can I please touch your other hand? Mm -hmm. Checking the uh, capillary refill time. One, two, three. So capillary refill time is normal. The nail is clean, no varnish, no artificial nails. Mm -hmm. Now checking the saturation. You can just rest your hand over here. Perfect. Okay, so your blood pressure is 134 by 87. So I will be documenting it over here. So it is 134. by 87 and her saturation is 98 which I'll be documenting over here can I remove this thank you So your pulse is 81 in this pulse oximeter, but I will also like to check it manually. Is that fine? Yes. Okay. Can I please uh, touch your hand just to check yes. your pulse for two minutes? Okay. Okay. So Julie, uh, mm -hmm. for the first uh, one minute, I was checking your pulse mm -hmm. and that is 80, okay, mm -hmm. and that is normal. Okay. And for the other minute, I was checking your respiration rate. Mm -hmm. I just didn't want to make you conscious, that's why I didn't tell you, mm -hmm. okay. So that your respiration rate is 18, okay. that is also normal. So I'll just document it here on the chart. And your pulse is 80. Julie, uh, can you please tell me, do you use any oxygen therapies? No. Okay, so the patient is on air. Now I will be checking your uh, temperature. Okay. okay. 
just wanted to ask whether you laid on either side of your head in last 20 to 30 minutes? Mm -hmm. I've just been said to you. Oh, that's nice to know. Mm -hmm. And can I please inspect your ear before I do it? Okay. Okay. Checking for ears, any infection sign, no obstructions and no signs of infection. Checking for the other ear, it's clean, there's no obstruction, no signs of infections. So now I'll be using a one ear probe for this one ear. Without touching the middle part, I'll insert the probe on the thermometer. I just like to insert it in your ear. So it's 36.3 in one ear. Discarding it in the kidney dish. Now taking the other probe. Similarly, I just have to insert it. Without touching this inner area, just outer area, I have to fix it. Insert it. So it's 36.5. So I'll be documenting the higher reading. Documenting it 36.5 degrees Celsius. Julie, now mm -hmm. I would like to ask you certain questions just, just to check your alertness. Mm -hmm. Okay, can yeah. you please tell me where are you right now? Um, I'm at the AME in hospital. Perfect, mm -hmm. yeah, that's correct. And do you remember who am I? Um, I think you're a nurse, you said you're a nurse. Yes, yeah. do you know what time it is approximately? It's around 3 o'clock yes. in the afternoon. Yes, perfect. Yeah. So my patient is uh, oriented to time, place and person. So I would document it as alert in the chart. So Julie, now mm -hmm. I have uh, done all your, uh, checked all your physical orbs. I will be calculating your score. Okay. Okay, I'm getting back to you. So cal for calculating score in respiration, the score is zero. In the saturation, the score is zero. Zero. Okay, so my patient has overall score zero. Now checking what can be the frequency of observations for zero. So it's 12 hourly. And there is no need to escalate. So I'll document it 12 hourly. There is no need to escalate. And I'll sign. So I've calculated the score. The score has been 0. Julie, mm -hmm. so I have calculated your score, which yeah. has come to uh, 0. So oh. there is nothing to worry about. Okay. The frequency of observations will be 12 hourly. Okay. okay? And yeah. uh, we'll continue to record it monthly unless yeah. there is anything clinical which, uh, which needs uh, our attention. Okay? okay. The frequency may be determined by the medications. Okay. Are you taking any anti, uh, anti-hypertensives? No. Okay. Yeah. So then, uh, or any existing medical condition which you don't have. Yeah. Are you happy with the information which I have provided to you? Yes, yeah, so far so good. Okay. So is there anything you want to ask me? No, no. I'm happy that uh, my blood pressure is not too bad because the doctor was worried and they, she, he sent me here to just make sure. Okay. Yeah, but, um, I see. But yes, your score is zero, so which is not uh, nothing to worry about it, okay? Okay. And if you need anything, there is a call bar, then yeah. you can ring it and I'll come. Oh. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Thank you. After discarding my PPE, I've made sure that I have documented it correctly on the charts. And I've also made sure my equipments are clean and ready to use for the next time. Okay. In the end, I'll 
decontaminate my hands using seven steps of hand hygiene.